Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What is up guys, my name is Raimi and welcome to a brand new vlog. If you've seen my previous video, you know that I'm converting my drone from Betafly to KISS, but unfortunately I had to wait a little bit longer for the right SC mounts. So the SC needs to be hard mounted, but it's recommended to do a soft mount on the uh, ESC. So I was uh, placing these rubber O-rings. I think I dropped one. So I keep looking everywhere. I put three on already, but I can't find the last one. And it also doesn't help that I made it super dark inside with, with the black walls and the black furniture. <laughs> hey, I got it. There was a little bit of delay on the shipment of the FC mouse, but luckily EBR saved me once again and sent me a set. Flexible compared to this one that is from the KISS store. Almost no movement, just, uh, just a bit. Keep in mind when I say KISS in this video, I refer to KISS Ultra. Apparently it's not the same thing. It literally, 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 it literally means beyond KISS. Of course, I was super excited to finish this build. It all went super smooth until so it was pretty much done and I was fiddling around with some uh, cables to make sure they were uh, running nice and loose underneath the ESC and I was also fiddling with the connector of the ESC put it back in and now two pins are bent <laughs> I did try to bend them back with a needle and with the um, tweezers one of the pins broke off completely of course I uh, removed the connector and soldered everything onto the ESC uh, side. Pretty easy, but since I was almost finished, I was, I was kind of mad. Eventually I was able to finish the build late at night and since it was already dark outside and most of my neighbors were probably sleeping, I thought it was a good idea to do a hoover test inside. Yep, this was very dumb. So a few days later, the weather got a lot better. To finally do the maiden flight, I set up all the recommended settings in the KISS GUI. The link is down below. Oh man, it works. I'm so happy. What a way to start off this week. We've got the ultra flying, we got some croissants. Shout out to my French viewers. I still notice that I'm still a little bit uh, nervous and I got a lot of adrenaline popping through my veins. I got a bit of twitchy fingers from that. So uh, maybe if I cool down a bit, I can notice more difference. It's already worth it for me right now. Yeah. The main difference I noticed right away was how precise the quad was directing to my input. It was a lot less jumpy, which made me a lot more confident during dives. So because I was pretty nervous the last session, I had some very twitchy fingers. I wanted to do another session with the exact same settings. It's about 30, 33 degrees Celsius. In terms of Dutch weather, that's pretty hot. Normally I stand a little bit further that way, but when I get out of the van and walk this way, I noticed that someone was uh, lying completely naked enjoying the sun he saw me and he left uh, right away so we got uh, we got spots uh, back <laughs> oh man this all the way up in this freaking tree 
Oh, it's, it was at the top. And thirdly, it fell a little bit down, but it's now somewhere around here. Very dense tree. Right there. Oh no, 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 no. I am super afraid of heights. Fuck. I quit. I will fly a simulator from now on. Yeah. Try with this one. At this point, I got very frustrated and I thought I really lost the drone. I was super grumpy as I turned off the camera. I thought it lost it anyway, so I armed the quad and went full throttle. I got it, I got it, I got it. Jeez. Yeah. Turtling didn't work. I just, uh, well, that just went crazy on the alarming the throttle. So let's check the ECs. Once again, I'm very lucky. At what point will my luck run out? So yeah, <laughs> when will my luck finally run out? Well, it would take me less than 24 hours to find out. The next day I went back because with the current preset, I still had some prop wash issues. So I started experimenting with the medium setting, which made it a lot better. The motors were still cool, so I switched to high. At this point, it was flying amazing. I was super happy and sometimes still a little bit of problems, but it also could be my skills. This morning I've been playing around a bit with um, with the preset settings on the KISS Ultra. I was able to adjust the settings via the OST, which is uh, perfect. I will do um, my last two packs and then I have to leave, so I'm not sure if I will uh, add the flight footage, but I'm happy. Okay, what the fuck? Everything just caught the fire. And it seems that uh, one of the ESCs blow up. Let's do a quick uh, check up if the uh, Ultra is still fine. Everything is black and it seems this side blew up. Oh, uh, yep. Super black, standoff molten, and yeah, sure enough, it uh, it blew up. I just connected the FC to the KISS GUI, and it seemed that everything is still working fine. The receiver is still working, beeper is still working, and also the gyro is uh, still fine. So I think, I think the the FC survived. Damn, this thing is crunchy AF. <laughs>